modifications continue to come in on this plane. And this three and a half inch brace for the main wing, main fuselage, is no longer larger. Everybody's making them four and a half or five inches wide so that there's room to put a battery and receiver in the uh, space, the little triangular space there at the top of the main fuselage. So I think we'll split the difference. I'm a middle of the road kind of guy. We'll go for like four and three quarter inches. spread out. Okay. Use clear Gorilla Glue. and put some weight on it. This is a piece of foam I had left over from another project. I used my other two rollers to weigh down that center strip that just glued up. This thing is I'm going to cut the main part of the tail out. You can see it. It's 15 inches long, inch and a half on the short side, 12 inches on the tall 
side over here, three inches across the top, and whatever connects those points. So we got 15 inches, and Larry laid it out. I drew there. Three inches, and an inch and a half. I don't know if I like these new sharpies yet. So this time we're just going to hold the knife perpendicular to the work. We'll make a nice square edge cut. To use a metal ruler when you're doing this. If you use a wooden ruler or a plastic ruler, cut the ruler up. Okay, well, there's our main tail piece. I'll do that. That's 12 inches high. Got our piece right here. This is one of the original pieces from the, the uh, sheet of foam that we cut the, the wings out of. So it's supposed to be Just about three inches. 